Welcome guys back to Home Harbor, Roma, Ochre collaboration. Today video is about the chain plates. I did one as an experiment. I wanted to do it first, then I will show you better how I did this. Guys, I will use, instead of uh, rope, I will use the chains, the wire and the pins. I will leave you link in the description. This is all from Okrem. Um, already they have the different color. They are darker. I use the same technique as usual. Also, I already stained all of the dead eyes, all of the blocks, all of the uh, belaying pins. Everything with uh, stain from Okrem. I will show you. Maybe you will be interested. Walnut stain. So guys, now I will explain you why I did this. Uh, honestly, I like very much chain. I like very much, uh, by the way, from HMS Erebus. The system of dead eyes are pretty awesome. Uh, I like it. Uh, so the rope, it's just not an option for me. I did this with Polaris. I did this with the Candelaria. And I also did this with Essex. It looks pretty long. I admit that they the chains look pretty long but i like it so this is my choice guys now i will show you what we need for this so guys first of all we need our pre-cut parts the chain plate two by two i will check if i'm not mistaken yep two by two uh, pieces of wood like this we're going to put them together this part is going to be painted black, this one white. Then our dead eyes, we are going to do with you the bigger chain, chain plate. Uh, we will put it in position and then the rest of it, you will do it by yourself because you will already know how to do it. If you like my idea, of course. So we have five bigger dead eyes and three smaller ones. Then the chain, I already cut it. How I did this? Basically, I'm just measuring how much I need from the position that we put chain plate to the whales. And I did like this piece of wood with two pins. Uh, in some points, uh, the chain will be bigger, in some points uh, longer, in some points shorter. But I do it like this. So in this point, I can cut and then just put in the jar with the money as i usually do this part right here well basically it's just to don't waste a lot of time always measuring how much uh, chain you need pretty simple and easy so guys the pins also as i told you everything in the jar with the ammonium as well as the wire uh, so basically we can start uh, first thing that I will do, I don't need to film it, I will do it and glue it. First thing that I will do, I will paint the chain plate in black. This part that comes right here, I will paint it white, then I will glue it together. And then uh, we need the drill 0 0.8 or 0 0.9. Uh, I took 0 0.9 because we're going to twist the wire around that eye, so we need a little bit more space right here then a rope and uh, let's start so guys i did already this part now what i want to say to you uh, so you will not repeat my mistake when you take off these pre-cut parts you must check how they go on the plants because you're not able to see very nice but there is five holes that have more distance from each other than three of them so this five must be facing the bow and three smaller ones to the stern don't mix them up because i already did a mistake in the beginning so that's why i like to first do experiment first do the piece by myself and then show it to you now basically what i'm going to do i will now show you in the ship don't worry now basically what i'm going to do um, 0.9 I'm just slowly starting to do the holes
And by the way guys, uh, why I'm not continue with stuff for the deck and the bow? Because I have some of the ideas and I need to check if I will be able to do this. I really appreciate your comments. Um, you did give me a lot of ideas, but some of the ideas I'm not sure if I'll be able to do. Because if you can see, uh, my hands are, are a little bit shaking. This is my nervous system. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of complicated for me. Uh, at the bow, I want to do those parts from metal. I want to do them from the wood. I don't want to use the metal because I don't like it. So we need to bend it uh, a lot. So uh, for me, better to do a video one time in a week, for example then rush the process and do stuff that I don't like and show you uh, some pieces that will not really pretty on the ship <clears throat> so guys now basically I did the holes now we going to preparing our dead eyes so don't forget like it is on the instructions that two holes facing up one hole facing down then we're going to do the rigging so it will be like a mirror one hole to the top two down don't forget about this don't do mistake don't put dead eyes in the not right position because it's not going to be nice and well not pretty so guys basically what i'm going to do Put it around the dead eye, twist it just uh, one or two times, right now I'm focusing on what I'm doing so the camera will not focus but I will show you. <clears throat> so basically like this, so this part right here I'm just going to cut it. nice I'm not gluing that eyes inside because there is no need of it now what I'm going to do first thing first I'm going to push it through the hole and then slightly starting to twist it so that I will enter nice to the hole uh, to, yeah right to the hole like this now I'm cutting <clears throat> more or less piece like this even smaller piece like this and now just make a circle loop so we can attach the chain into it This is not hard, just take time with this. Don't, never don't rush anything. I understand that I'm saying this, I have three projects and I'm saying this, but I don't rush any of the project. I really appreciate all of your comments, all of your likes, uh, but I, I just can't rush the things because I don't want to do mistakes. All those projects are really important for me. So guys, yeah, well, this is what we got. I think it's pretty easy, not complicated. We have part right here to attach the chain. So now I basically go with all of them. Then I will, we will explain you how they must, must facing the bigger ones and the smaller ones, how they might, must face on the ship. And then we will continue, we will put it uh, on the ship. So uh, one more thing that we will do behind I will drill 0.6 millimeter holes, put the pins so we can fix it on the hull of the ship. So it will be more steady than just glue it. So guys, now I will do the rest of them 
and we can start putting on the ship so good people this part is done uh, now we will start to assembling on the ship but before that uh, the thing that i was told you uh, pay attention to all of those uh, chain plates the way how they have the position on the ship uh, the bigger dead eyes facing the bow the smaller ones you can see on the plan you have here five holes they are they have more space between them three of them have less space so they facing the stern all of them like this the bigger ones bow smaller ones stern uh, pay attention to those details don't do my mistakes now guys um, the chain the wire all of the stuff uh, I honestly cannot say you how much do you need to order if you want to do because honestly I'm using from I'm using my old uh, stuff that I have I'm using some from the uh, already take from the kit of Erebus and then I will order more because if you want to do some different stuff you need to have some uh, well some material in home to spare to use uh, in this way you can uh, do experiments and this way you can change the ship the way you like to so guys uh, that's why I'm telling you not to throw away pieces of wood uh, if you have some I have a lot of parts that I didn't use I'm just pushing them apart and then I will find how to use them what to do with them I will leave you link for the wire I will leave you link for the chain I will leave you link for the stain and now guys uh, right here we can do already 0 0.6 millimeter holes why i'm not gluing them because in this way we can manipulate with them we can put them straight like we need and when we're going to do the rigging it will be easier for us to do the rigging also right now to make our life easier in the future i have already 0 0.6 millimeter uh, drill i just go through all of the holes it will be much easier in the future making the rigging so guys one more thing the stain that i use for the dead eyes for the blocks are pure walnut also blank pins everything is pure walnut for making the old effect all of this effect it is diluted with water and again guys do experiments try to do something uh, of your own the way you like to now we just put two pins I hope you understand that sometimes I need time to make the video that's why I'm not posting a lot of videos in one week because I need to check everything that I'm doing like this guys I need to check it so uh, for not making any of the mistakes I need to think about a lot of stuff uh, I understand that you can say so why you didn't work on one project only uh, to be honest guys it's uh, for me it's easier to work in uh, for example two or three projects because uh, for now I'm doing this part right here and I'm thinking how I will do the Airbus deck uh, I'm thinking I'm working on the Airbus and I'm thinking how I will do for example the bow or the stern of the Essex it's easier because sometimes you can stuck on one project and you don't know where to go and what to do it's just me I'm not saying that you should do this uh, for me it's easier because sometimes it's uh, starting to be boring when you're doing all the same job but in this case you can mix the things and it's coming along nicely and for me it's easier so 
this is how it looks now we can put it on our ship so guys in the instructions we will not put in the ship right now because we need first attach the uh, chains and it's much easier to attach them uh, right now than after uh, if we put it on the ship so in the plans it must be right behind in the same line with this uh, lane pin rack so make it sure also I did one mistake I'm every time trying to find the mistakes that I did to show you so you will not repeat them in the plans if you remember this uh, part right here was painted uh, just with stain that's why I did mistake because I saw in the plans that the chain plates are placed on the last uh, white piece of wood so what I did I placed it right here first in the in the other side uh, so well yeah basically it was a huge mistake so I need to rip it off and put it higher but uh, with my luck uh, I all of those holes I just uh, put a little bit of the glue sand it so it not it is not visible guys um, so first I want to mark when where we need to put our chain so I got the holes now we'll just drill and also guys drill just a little bit don't drill uh, through all of the wood That's what I like to do first experiment, try to do, then show it to you and warn you with my mistakes. Also, I really appreciate all your comments because I think this is the way, if you correct me, I'm never saying that I'm always right. I'm basically a lot of times I'm wrong. Uh, but in this way, we helping each other. I'm showing you. Yeah, good. I'm showing to you my way, you can show it to you your way, and this way we can learn from each other. Uh, now guys, basically, we just put in our, we open the chain. I don't know if you can see something, but I will show you right now. This is the, for me, this is the hardest part, all of this. So, well, it is like this. I hope you understood how I did it. It's pretty simple. It's very simple uh, technique. I like it a lot. Then, if you can see, you can manipulate with your dead eye. So, we will put it straight and nice. So, guys, I will attach all of the uh, chains. And then, we will uh, put our chain plate in the position. So, guys, this part is done. Now let's just put a little bit of glue in the back of the chain plate and put it in position. Now let's just give it, and if you can see, I take a little bit uh, more of the chain, so I will be sure, for example this one, I don't need to cut, I need to cut one piece only. Uh, if there will be some missing parts, I will just cut from this one for example, I can take one or two and put it on this. I always take a little bit more than it is, so uh, I will not have problem and I can work with leftovers all of the chains small parts of the chains i always put them together so i can use them again uh, i never throw nothing away guys everything in our business everything is useful and have potential so let's give it a little bit minutes for dry and we will drill the holes and put the pins and so guys now we can start
So guys, uh, basically this is the way how I'm doing it. So I pleased with the result. Maybe for some of you it's not perfect, but I really do like it. I really enjoy it. So guys, I will go on to do the rest of them. Then I will show you the final result because if you can see right here, this one chain plate that goes here will probably, well, it will be touching the hole, but there is no thing that I can do. There is no way. So yeah, we will go with this. So guys, I will do this job. Then I come back to you and we will see the final result. So guys, this is how it's come up. I'm really pleased with the result. And to be honest, those whales did improve themselves. So the uh, chains are not touching the hole. Also guys, I did something. I did the experiment. Um, I didn't know if it will work out. So I will show you right now some pictures. Uh, sorry about that. In my defense, I can say it was only basically experiment. I took a risk. I cut some parts. Um, but in the pictures, you can see everything, how it went. You will see right now the pictures. And then I will show you what I did and final result with the chain plate. So yeah, guys, basically I did the uh, steps, uh, stairs. Um, I don't know what you think about this. I hope they don't look too big. I did it like I wanted. Um, probably they shouldn't go a little bit lower, but okay, it's my my choice. Um, my, I don't know, my improvisation. If I can say like this, basically first, if you saw you saw the pictures, I cut those two parts. Well, then I cut uh, the holes to put them inside. I stain them. Uh, then I just use uh, two by five for the first planking from the first planking. Uh, all of them are two by five from the first planking. I cut the steps. I send them down, make an old look, and well, basically this is what I have. I hope you like it. I do. Uh, so guys, sorry that I didn't film it. It was just, uh, say again, experiment. And it worked well, as I think. So uh, for me, one problem less. That's uh, really relaxing for me so now we have all of those parts on the deck and the bow so guys thank you very much sorry if something went wrong and i hope you enjoyed this video you like the idea with the chains uh, guys do experiment be different um, and basically no one <laughs> is perfect everybody do mistakes uh, like i do and i'm showing to you so you will not repeat my mistakes uh, if you have some other idea, I would like to hear your comments. I also like to hear the comments about my work. What do you think? Uh, maybe some suggestions, maybe something that I did wrong. I always welcome all of the comments. This is the way we learn. So guys, thank you. It was Home Harbor, Essex, and I see you next time.